So we've got uh, Jordan Shepherd against Mark Farnsworth. Been waiting for me. Um, I think we've got uh, Chris Boram coming in the commentary. And, uh, I think it's Anthony Miller. Not too sure. But uh, they'll be in in a minute. I'll just uh, put these names in first. to eight. Um, I don't think we'll be getting many of the uh, double, elimination, double elimination side on. I'll just double check. And then again, I think this is a double elimination side. So just one, bear with me one second. Again, this is the last 16 match. What happens is it's double elimination right up till we get down to eight winners, eight players in the winners section and eight players in the runners up section and they go through to the last 16. So it's now straight knockout. If I'm not wrong. So he might be on belt on light maybe because it doesn't make sense on the draw. Yeah, so the uh, the losers get redrawn into the um, into the uh, last sixteen match with the uh, eight winners. So that's why it didn't make sense. So, uh, I believe Mark Farns just won that first frame. Was that the first frame, Chris? Yeah. 2-0. That was quick. So, yeah. Um, I'll leave you for a few minutes while uh, Chris Bowen and uh, is it Hans Miller join you on the commentary. I think uh, is a, oh, that, that are we on left? Yeah, man, it helps if you put that mic button on. <laughs> Pressed on, son. So what way to brick? There's um obviously watch a lot of sports now, Chris, where 
even the darts players, you see them they're doing a lot of fitness work and stuff like that. Um, have these lads been doing a bit? Well, maybe he's, uh, obviously Sheppy's been putting a little bit of work in the kebab house. Uh, and Ray's been obviously on the fruit and veg. Uh, I can't imagine uh, these two well-torn athletes, but... Uh, if they had a race around the block, who do you think would win? It depends, like, obviously if there's a tenner at the end of it, Ray all day, like... I think so. Oh, I think Ray's one of them, like, as soon as he gets out of sight, he's pushing them in the bushes and stuff. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> all day long. What was, what was the carry-on on the stream earlier on with Ginger Ray spitting his dummy out? What happened there? Well, I think it was, uh, obviously, it was quite a long uh, and durious match, uh, Ray playing Dunster. I think Ray was 7-5 uh, enough and just... Uh, just shook the lad's hand and says, oh, that's, I'm done with that game now. Uh, and he's battled through. Yeah. Petulance. Yeah, basically, we'll show he's missed one there. It's embarrassing, really. He's supposed to be, like, one the of number the one players. Well, uh, the number one professional. Uh, uh, obviously, he's supposed to be one of those uh, guys that really... Like an uh, ambassador for the sport. Yeah, absolutely. Do you know what I mean? Ambassador and, obviously, and then he it's just... Disgusting, really. Uh, the dummies went out on it. Raven, uh, I like the way he's, he's blended his pants in with the, the colour of the cloth, like that. <laughs> it's got a bit of reflection there, hasn't it? I love it. You can barely see him when he like, slithers his way around it. <laughs> good player, though. <laughs> he's a good player, though. <laughs> Ray. Is there any chats there? Any questions over there? I thought oh, we've got our good friend Ray. Uh, what's wrong with the live stream, Ray? Uh, Sure, it's fine, Paul. But if anybody you thinks the bill, Ray. No, no. It's a nice shot. That's uh, the old stream there up on the, the chat box. So we should live on Facebook and live on YouTube this weekend from the rest of Savannah. So. Uh, I think Facebook's up a date. Is, is YouTube a little bit behind it? It must, it must be. Uh, obviously, it streamed a little bit later, but uh, obviously on the main screen here. Uh, got a few camera angles as well. Uh, well uh, obviously, Max is trying to find that yellow on the side cushion and uh, land the base on nothing. But you might be able to uh, let's just see there's another camera angle on there. Oh, that's either the table. That's no good, Matt. <laughs> Speaking about the tables, I noticed you were having a knock on the, on the snooker table earlier on. Uh, oh. what, what happened there? Oh, I think uh, yourself uh, had a good snooker. I was absolutely killing like a dream. <laughs> and uh, fortunately just uh, ended up losing 3-2. Mm -hmm. Although the quality was outrageous. <laughs> them, <laughs> them good old six breaks. Mm. So when you, it's like when you look at them stats on any website or whatever tell you the results but they never quite tell you like the yeah. standard of how it was oh played or whatever. It's all about the results. Son. Oh. Is on that scene? Let's see if another camera one and three or not. Oh, is there splitting it? Oh yeah, see we've got that one and three. Yeah, so I think he might be on that one but we'll go the main table. He's got nothing in you, has he? No. Yeah, I don't think get the white away early enough to be fair. I think if he screw digs on I think I think it's just about a double and it would take him over the other side of the tail, but he's gotta get this white three early. Shots yeah, he's gotta dig he's gotta dig in really early, like and he doesn't like his mask. It's tight, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. it does it does double but you've got to get away really early, you've got to get the white back as well. Yeah, I don't know if he's just gonna play a flat up the rail, I don't know if he can just pinch that side of the rear pocket there. Obviously, the way the reds are landed, it's very important. Um, yeah, he's trying to play up the leg, just play a bit of sign and come across, and obviously just caught it a little bit too thick there. He could be there all day with that shot. That was a difficult shot as well. Obviously he ran out uh, two shots prior and then he was chasing the finish there and he's left Jordan a great opportunity here. I think, um, just going to take the red in the middle. Just thin it and kick the other red out on the side, like to the left hand cushion I think. Oh, right. 
That's not good. No, but he's okay. Well, play the plant. I think that red hanging earlier on just saved him, so he's, he's made his life easy, but I think. Just, just play that one down the flank. Yeah. You can put this in the middle, like, but I, I'll just want to be playing the plant, like, to make sure I'm still on the, still on the ball. Uh, can't really miss the plant. Then come across quite an obviously. Be careful. He's got really a going direct for the ball, is he? Should he not? I'm really surprised at that. Yeah, he's played it well, to be fair. So he's going to go to the top table and play. He's got two problem balls now instead of one. Yeah, I think you would expect John to take these or just play this up the top and come back, drag it back about three inches. Uh, is nicely on this one. Just run this through and just probably just leave the white just generally where, where it is at the moment. You know, just a little bit off the cushion. Doesn't need to track it through too much and leave a nice angle to go between the black and the other red. Just a bit straight, just gonna screw back in and out. I think that's just he's got two problems and he's sorted one out, but getting on this next one is still got a problem. I think you'll get these and just screw back one. Just gonna screw the black, that's all nice, but a really good shot. Oh, there. That's a good shot. Nice bit sign, just gonna pop this. You know when they wear them them bin lids he's got on? Yeah. I thought you meant to wear them big ones so you don't have to like peer over the top. Them and Dennis Taylor boys. You know, because he, he sights over, doesn't he? Which is a little bit weird. I think he's just lazy, you think? He could just take them off. I think he's alright. I think he's 2020, 20, the lad. I think he's. Well, it's weird how he, he sights over the glasses, to be fair. Yeah, uh, well, obviously, he's such a good player. Uh, so we've got level. Desmond. Two all. With Shepard to break. Obviously, the live chats went down. Uh, so, do you think Rhea should be disciplined for his, his actions earlier on? I think oh, right. I think it's the second time we've seen that on the live stream. Wasn't he shown with the referee before? Yeah, that, that was quite funny. That was Mel, wasn't it? I don't know who he thinks he is. Oh, look, look where they have landed. Helmet. Look where they, look where they have landed. I just got a nice little touch up here. when the frames go like this you've got a fancy ginger haven't you yeah definitely because jo John's obviously a very really attacking player uh, obviously gets these nitty gritties he doesn't like he just wants to really go I'm just going to clip off this now eh? but then Ray's just going to nestle in like to be fair he's probably never going to give John another sniff at anything just don't see he's going to go behind this isn't he Don't forget guys, if you want to know any questions you'd like to ask uh, about the IPA, uh, the World Series, uh, uh, I'm sure my co-commentator, Mr Miller, can... Uh, Where did the questions advise. come on? I think I've got some coming on here, uh, I'll just have a look back on the chat here. Uh, just see if I can refresh it. Uh, it's live now, yeah, 53 comments. they do the betting on these? Do they get any yeah, sometimes yeah, it's normally, I I'm not sure if Coral's coming this way, but they did the tables. Uh, I think they did it from the last 16 onwards. Uh, obviously, generally just on sort of the stream matches. Uh, obviously, today's for Gibraltar, which I think is in November, so it'll be a little bit chilly in there, Jib. So there's, there's obviously still quite a good turnout with it as a 30, 32. Yeah, 31, 32 or something. Um, obviously some of them, some, to be fair, some of them twenty. Yeah, the all in China. Obviously, that, they're picking up them Chinese takeaways, isn't it? So, like, obviously, all the boys are getting like invitations, like uh, Postman and Pat, uh, to go to China. So, all the boys are in China trying can to qualify. It, can, it, can any of them win, though? Uh, generally, no. Uh, obviously, we've got the, t the, the IPA guys. Obviously, Clint's got a Clint's obviously a good player. Uh, obviously, Jack's over there as well. They've all qualified actually for the main stages. Clint, Jack, and uh, Gareth, I think. Is qualified. I know there's some Scott boys playing in the second qualifier. So there was four, I think four British lads qualified and uh, obviously four of them Chinese boys uh, did as well. So And obviously trying to vie for the big prize. But uh, I think with with tournaments like that, Chinese airport, huge, huge queue spot over there in the 
sort of most populated place on the planet. Yeah. And the boys are going over there and they've Never played about four queue. frames. Well, Probably haven't even got a Chinese think that, I think obviously for some people the experience is good and stuff, but I think at the end of the day, you know, you've got to be realistic. And, um, yeah, it's all good going for experience at the end of the day. Uh, you know, I think expensive you see some of the people on my Facebook uh, talking about China. Uh, uh, I'm not going to mention some names, but they're getting sponsored for it and, like... Hanging all them like oh there's five million viewers watching oh I Facebook's not alive in China, so you know uh, you know but it's good really. obviously people like Jack Hibbert and that such good uh, pool players can do really well at it in Clint but there's so many going that basically probably just haven't got a chance but I know I know some will go for the experience which fair play to them but I think really what you've got to do is put the time and effort into it to give I yourself a chance. I think it's one of those and you're right listen the lads that you've mentioned the good players. You look at any Q sport that's pool related, and and even even in China, to play that sport on on them tables with them tight pockets, you've got to have almost a, a, a snooker, a top snooker Q action, which yep. them boys you mentioned have, yep. and the pool brains. They've got that massive mix. So I think even when you look at Hendry, Hendry struggles. He's got the obviously awesome Q action. He can put the balls for fun, but he hasn't got the the mm. the the brain. I think so he when you look at the ambassador five years ago for Joy Denny and, and uh, he struggled. I think I think he struggled no, winning matches. Winning any matches, nice look, break from Mark. You look at someone like like Potts, who I think no, is, is probably renowned as, as, as even over there is like probably about the top player. I think he's he, a top player, including he? including the Chinese. So he's got that mix of an excellent Q action um, and the and the pool brain. So them boys you mentioned, there's no doubt if they spend the time, they could they could do really well. And I don't begrudge either the lads who think I've been invited. Let's have a go. Let's have a uh, and to, to have a trip over China to be playing in a Q sport, which obviously they, they love doing is brilliant. And I think a lot, a lot of them badge it as experience and opportunity and, and enjoy the trip and win or lose. They're having a good time. It's great. I think. Um, I think when you just you take it outside of that and you, and you try and sort of highlight that it's it's something else and that no, no, then, no, then that's you're a, a bit of an idiot. Yeah, exactly. You know, at the end of the day, it's, it's such a tough, obviously, discipline as well. Uh, you know, and some of the boys are going there can't even play pool, so, <laughs> you know. But at the end of the day, it's each their own. Uh, it's not my cup of tea. I think you would have to put plenty of practice in to go over there and then uh, they'll all come back and uh, that's just the way it goes, really. Michael. There's some good pipe over there though, aren't there? Oh aye. Yeah, we all deep mind. Oh, just to yeah, kill that really well. Stay down nice and shot. Michael, how did I get on? I got beat, mate. I got beat 8-6 in the main one. Sean Stebbins. Uh, couldn't get a ball off the break. I've been playing really well, but that scores. No jib for me. Uh, but I'll try my hardest tomorrow for, for them French boys. I think Gav's still left in, Michael. Uh, he's playing on the last qualifier to get about the 16. Should be going to play the ball here. That was miles away. Such a rush shot, that, you know. Because even the way he's played it, what, what's he... I think that's the thing where... What's he going to achieve there? This is a scrappy frame. The last one was scrappy. <coughs> Mark's one Ginger will just pick them up and... The little pocket in between, Shepi just picks them quick, quick racks up and... Um, Excellent. It's going to leave a nice Excellent little angle on this. Excellent play, like I just think sometimes just... Yeah. He, he, knows, ready, he right? knows the shots. No. Oh, he's got to be careful because I think he's, he's doing the black, isn't he? So yeah, but I think he's going red into black, isn't he? I think think so? like, yeah, yeah, definitely. I think he's playing the yellow and he's going to try to click the red sort of quarter to the angle, quarter on the ball, and he's going to knock the black out of the same shot here. Or try. I think, I think that's the but thing. But he cleaned the double up, you know what I mean? Worst case scenario. I would never have played that shot in a million years. I wouldn't even have seen it. But I think that's the difference between the top boys and, and even the, you know the professionals and people at the, the top end where seeing that shot and it's I think it's the more you, you play the you one can't, you, know, you, you, you can't you fail can you because no, if like that's gone wrong and he's still, still got the option that yeah. I was talking about the yeah, shot now, now he's going to go in the black now so he's going to play the yellow and go half ball in the black I'm surprised he's going in the black at all I, ju I just think he, he just won't the yellow over the pocket yeah, I just don't think he'd want to leave a double in there. like I'm going in the I know you can play this, but then basically he's leaving the double, he's egg in the basket. This is a perfect angle, he's trying to leave. And he'll just hit this nice and clean, medium pace. Right, pot in the corner, he's still got that top bag. Right, 
obviously the danger is you, you, you don't you do hit the black sort of too thin and I don't think he'll do that and then he's basically at his mercy I think that's what his intention that would have been my intention I just think keep it keep it simple when now I think the shot before you were definitely right he, you know, he's picking, picking your shot I just think, I just think more things can go wrong here no I think it's perfect like that black seal oh never no like that I mean no uh, uh, like that was definitely the right decision. But to be fair, he's hit it clean, obviously, clean enough to make sure that he was always on the other yell and he still had that top back. You know what I mean? Like, w where the reds were, it's not as dangerous. Because he can still get back in command. And uh, just right, a nice uh, finish there from Mark. I've just um, spotted the old boy, Ronan, oh. Ronan McCarthy, a.k.a. Okay. A. Paul. A.k.a. A. Paul. Um, I think he's been hammering the group on. He's got one of them, like... Oh, Marnie Jackets on, you know, the E, uh, e Z or whatever the... Is that when the you get from the back of them Tenerife boys, you know? Yeah, as many as you can carry for like ah, 30 for like quid. Tenor. Oh, aye. Ah, maybe he's here, look. Calls a Sienna, the lad. Ah. Oh, he's coming over now, isn't he? How are you getting on, Mucker? Yeah, well, I can speak. Just. Yeah. Any words for the viewers? What about Rhea's pants? They match the cloth, have you noticed that? What is it? Ginger's pants, the same colour as the cloth. <laughs> 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 Maka must be happy, Ant, because he's through. Are you through, Maka? 16. Uh, Maka's in the last 16. How old are you now, Maka? 50. 50? Just turned 50, Maka. Have you got any of them money matches coming or what not? Were, were, you, were you in the same room as Teeny last night? Over in Ireland, you went. Was he not there? You wouldn't have spoken to him anyway, would you? I was, I was there playing a match, and then on the way before he got there, oh. his car broke down or something. Was bugs all closer. But what do you mean his car? Or do you not mean he's like horse and cart? <laughs> What's with the Armani tracky tops on? Hmm? Huh? Have you like, like Peter Stringfellow or something? Yeah. Been hammering the group on, is that where that's come from? What's group one? What's group one? <laughs> you must know what group one's massive than yeah, I. He's wedged up the hill and he doesn't, oh, doesn't bother with stuff like oh, that, oh, so. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, it's a shit, we're just gonna uh, mop these up quite nicely. Nice, uh, obviously, a big frame, uh, 5 2 or 4 3. So it reduces the rears, just the red in the top left hand corner. Just drag it back for the black in the corner. So it's 4-3. We're going to just go to the other table while we watch him. On the other table, Luke Sanchez versus uh, Mr. Mackey. Michael, anybody know the last 16 draw? If you is not updated, me, I think you're updating it now. Obviously, you, you've got the eight winners and then the eight losers. Obviously, get randomly drawn in that section. If you just want to check on skew, uh, qscore.com, hopefully they've been updated as we speak. Any chance won the match on Sun, yeah? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chevy's just missed the ball down the flank. He hasn't missed that black, has he? Yeah, aye. Oh, no. I'm just giving the frame. Well, oh, Bazooks know what he's doing here. What's happening here, lad? All oh, right, well, what's a 4-3? Chevy's just had a yeah, black yeah. down the real. How did you miss that? I, I was just actually saying that it was a frame over, like. Missable. It was a missable son, to be fair. He's just missed it. Can you believe you missed that? Uh-huh. So it's 4 oh, that's a nice kill shot. Mark. Big I, test I can't believe you missed that. I, I actually switched to the other table, uh, obviously why they were going to rack them up. And uh, that's that's should be done now. Um, that should be done. Now, I think. He hasn't he hasn't been playing well for the last few months. To be fair, quite a few months. And, uh, I'm not sure if he's needs a bit a of dough. That's in. what he needs. It's the only way you make it. Uh, it's the only way you pull yourself. Tell you what, right? I want to say two words right. about a sportsman who is flying top of his game, can't put a foot wrong, and all of a sudden there's problems with the door and it all goes wrong. Tiger Woods. Oh. Aye. Nothing to do with injuries, oh, son. Oh, nothing to do with injuries. The lad used to run riot oh, every day of the week, man. Because he was oh. popping around the neighbours all and the time. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he should just go in like KFC, and that he just say to his, his mate, like, go and get her over there. And just say, Tiger Woods wants to do a bit with him, and just like, 
Oh, be all over or it. Pull them out. All, no. all over it. Like one pull of, them out in the car park, you know, isn't it? Like one of those Zinger burgers and that. <laughs> <laughs> zinging around. Oh, them Zinger boys. I can't believe uh, obviously John's missed that. Uh, black. His head's gone now, I'm telling you. And uh, Mark's obviously taking us to take a nice 5-2 uh, lead. Uh, yellow and the black in the bottom corner. So what's this last 16? Last 16. This is obviously the quarterfinals. One more match then. Uh, and uh, the lucky thing person. There's obviously there's, there's talk of... Like, Ginge been pulling out of this tournament after he's outburst earlier on. Mm. I hope that rumour is true. Well, I think he should be disciplined regarding his uh, behaviour. Good, good afternoon, Dean Company. Commentator's curse. Well, to be fair, I've just switched table because I think it's impossible for Sheppy to miss it. And he's obviously absolutely thrown a clangor in. Uh, and obviously, I, I know straight away he'll be absolutely, his head will fall off here. Uh, no, he has been struggling lately, and obviously such a quality player as he is. And Ginger will make sure he takes his time in these next finishes in this frame. Watch the time, and he, he goes on the tail. So, yeah, 5 2 to Mark. With Ginger to break. Let's see how he breaks here. See how he gets through the ball so well. And he's, he's drive. Yeah. Huh? He'll be holding the ceiling here. So, I'll see how he gets through. See how the Q names is it lift it or not. See how he Q goes up there. He's still got a good break there. We're obviously... And he's he's been much better, I think, over the last, he, last the six months or so. I think he's, he's getting he's, there. He's better, but, like, sometimes he's woeful, mind. I think if... When he when he hits... I mean, that wasn't a fantastic break, but it, it, it wasn't bad. It'll do, though. Um, and some, a lot of the time he hits them well, but the, the jimmy goes in, and, he, and you just think, it, regardless of how well you hit them, if you're losing the white... So I think he just, it's surprising though, somebody who's played from like, I remember he was like, he, Jin just played, he was playing for thousands of pounds when he was like oh, 12, 12 or 13. Years, yeah. He thought like he, he, was, he was a kid, I think he'd had about 10 money matches for thousands when he was like 13, 14 year old. Um, if somebody for playing for that long, who, like, and he's such a good strike with the ball, I can't cue. I think a lot of the time it comes down to like, Gets in your mind. But he stops on it, and, you know what I mean? he, come, he comes out of the break, and obviously he used to he used to break it like he cue it. I don't think, think he's got any ball on me, deep down. He's <laughs> all right. Well, when, yeah. But when you think, <coughs> he's just a fair few finals. And it's going to be plummy. He's just going to try to get, obviously, the red at the top and get a nice angle on the red. Play the world championships. He's going, to, he's going to be like the ginger Jimmy White well, mind, I'm telling uh, you. That, 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 that's the danger, to be fair. Obviously, all the two wins. I hope it uh, does. Well, Here's another example. In a in a league match, which this never happens, he's missed a black off a spot for a one four seven. One of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. Tell us you love that like that. Well, I was actually down just thinking, imagine if he missed this. It, like, I'd, I'd be surprised if anybody's had a one four seven in a league match ever, mind. And um, he's absolutely plumb. And he's uh, even the bloke who was like playing him, like he nearly said to him, like, "Oh, we'll just pretend it went in." Type of thing. <laughs> just pretend. Uh, I give it one of them gormless looks, you know, when like, his, his jaw is like wobbling oh, away. Yeah, yeah. Like he's been on them cool boys. Oh, a poor, yeah. Yeah, Paul Jones, uh, good afternoon, Paul. Uh, obviously in the chat here. Uh, Mark's breaks a monster on this new cloth. I think it's better, Paul. Obviously, I think the cloth bites a little better, breaks them better compared to the Strachan in the hands. I think Strachan, he was durable on them. Uh, but this cloth is better for him. Obviously, he grips it to cleaner. Uh, you know, he has his days, and unfortunately, his days are always uh, bad in the world. Any relation to Indiana? Indiana? No, no, no. <laughs> Paul, uh, one of our captains for Teesside. Uh, Teesside County team. Oh, Jonesy. Jonesy, Jonesy, aye. Yeah. Well, uh, I don't like that shot. I don't like to like that. He's got away with it as well, like. Uh, I think, I don't know, I'll just see if I can uh, have a look at it. Can we punch into that? I'm just going to have a little look on this other camera angle. Oh, that table. That table, well, it's this camera one and three, so... I can't get there. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. No, you can, though. Can you make it, I No, I can't. He doesn't look like no, it. No, he's chipping that one in, isn't he? He's, having a, he's having a good look, Ray, isn't he? He's chipping this one no, in. Oh, right. He's so good at getting the white away early, obviously, with that, like, 7.4 mil tip. Oh, he's, he's going to dig into this and oh, kill the white. It's tough. And he has to leave an angle of punch into the yellow. No, it's too thick. Uh, Shepney's really should be running cover here, shouldn't he? he should, this, is, this is a frame, massive frame. Yeah, also, it's, it's you know, he's next. especially when he's just obviously flung a big in on the black, you know what I mean, to reduce it to 4-3. So, um, 
in control, nick this one, 5-3, his break, potentially 5-4, that's what he needs to be single for. So as, l as much as you need to dig in this frame, you just need to be a rat for the next 10 minutes if you need. Oh, he's left that, you know. I think he's left the thin edge. Plant. Yeah, I think he's left the thin edge. Just the thin edge, screw it across the side of the table, and hopefully be on the same red of the bag, and then uh, mind his work. Still, still a bit tricky work here, but uh, you expect Mark to nail it. Might just be playing, fl playing ball. Yeah, he's nailed it. Yeah, he's played lovely there. It's a nice little angle on there, the red in the bottom corner. Just nudging the yellow, but he's got to be a bit careful here because he doesn't want, he's nudging the yellow, he doesn't want to obviously nudge it in front of the black. So whether he plays with a pierce or he just actually plays a delicate, I think he might just delicate into it. Ah, that's a nice shot from Mark. Just, just make sure he didn't like uh, clank the black. Uh, Matthew Robinson, I like that. Uh, where are the commentators from? The little two northern monkeys. Are you right, pal? Uh, monkeys, is it? I'm not from Hartley Purple, so it's alright. Yeah, Jones has got about 8 6, mate. Uh, Sean Stebbins. So, uh, yeah, got ready to come here ball for break. Absolutely cursed us. Then, uh, Aidan Finch Peters in the loser section. Dry as mustard, but the things happen. I'll have a try again tomorrow for France. Good afternoon, Andrew Mole. How are you, mate? Hope you're having a good day back in uh, the good old Spain. I love that look, Vinder Singh. Yeah, obviously, in our YouTube chat, uh, you sound like they've been on the march in powder law. Just coffees, buddy, just coffees. Richard, I think we are streaming on both uh, channels, on uh, Facebook and YouTube, pal. Uh, YouTube, as the Facebook thing keeps going off, I'll speak to Wayne, obviously when I come off the commentary here, uh, but I think he is streaming certainly to both channels, because we've got two lots of chat open. Obviously, the, the Facebook chat's a little bit better than uh, the YouTube boys. It's a, a must frame uh, for Sheppy here. Screw this in the middle of the side cushion. It's got that nice angle. I think he's okay. Just to uh, develop the yellow on the side here. Just got to be a little bit careful. Nice and thin there. Uh, I think the angle is probably going into the right hand side of the yellow, like uh, towards the middle. Always oh, played the double. That's a great shot from uh, Jordan. able to screw back over for the yellow on the side rail. I think he's played that just nice. Kev Wilson, prediction with Teeny's game tonight. Well, I'm not sure, I don't know if he was that's a nice shot. He's playing Joe or someone who's in the snooker player, to be fair. I don't really know much about him, Kev. Um, to be honest with you, uh, how can happen? Uh, but I do predict one thing. I think he's playing my good friend of mine, Stevie Wall, on the 1st of April at Savannah's. And I think Stevie Wall absolutely mashes him around the room. Uh, so when George comes in, I think it's Carla Donny who's playing Fitzsimmons as well. So I think the Irish boys might be going back with no Sterling. Uh, never mind Sterling, Hunter, they're going back with no Euros. I just caught the back end of I think that Fitzsimmons will win. Um, yeah, it's uh, Carla Donny. I think he's... Um, I think we're coming over here, the, the whole like, bravado, the shouting and ball. And you just have to... Do, you have to you just then you have to deal with that. Well, yeah, you, yeah. If you're playing, for me... Especially how we sit in the corner just so I'm not hitting another shot. But uh, I think so he's told everyone that this is what's going to happen. If not, we're not going to come. So uh, he's so done that now. So you've accepted the challenge. Uh, so, so the end of the day, coming, like to be fair, I like I don't think it's a massive issue because the end of the day, he only brings like basically one supporter, Disney and Galloway. He dances around like the on about like chickens and that. So he dances around like chicken. But to be fair to him, he accept that. You know, because he's doing it. He's running around. But I think he's pretty solid as a player, though, isn't he? I think he's, um, hey. he's, he's that, what's he called, George? No. Do you not think so? No, 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 no. 
I think he's pretty. I think well, he's obviously, pretty he's, playing that, he's playing that guy in Ireland tonight, isn't he? Joe's, apparently, it's Snuggle, but I don't really know much about him, but obviously, maybe the guys that's. Uh, I haven't seen Lord, I've, I've seen quite a bit. I've watched every teeny money match in the last two years, and. Uh, is, 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 I've seen, because see, he's from here, isn't he? Oh, Max, must have I've seen him a few times, I've never seen him in a money match. Um, I suppose it just depends. It depends how he reacts in that scenario. From what I've seen with Wall, he's very solid. Who? So I, 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 I think Stevie Wall beats him all day wrong, like. He seems a nice lad. I hope he does. He can't beat a bit razzmatazz, though. I don't mind. To be fair, he's, he's box I office, though. I, I don't, don't mind the carnage. Honestly, I think it's fantastic. I think it's great for the game. Uh, it's good to watch, obviously. You know, at the end of the day, I think he got someone up to 5,000 viewers for his last money match. That's exceptional, you know, on Facebook. You know, so on, on the phone. That, that, like, and that Bellew boy the other week. It was rubbish. He can't box the series. He's like can't he, box, he, he, can't box he's eggs. He's never been able to box. But the problem is... He, he's got a, he sells fights. He's got a great mouth. Um, and, and people watch it and people pay for it. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. And Teeny is box well, office. Well, as a boxer it is. I don't know whether that Teeny actually gets any money out of any viewers and that, but he gets games. But I think that he'll start to hit that, because he's getting all them kind of viewers, people obviously tune in here to support him, and B, want him to get absolutely boosted around the room. So he hits every office, obviously for like a marketing point of view, you know, any of them sponsors out there, he's going to get his hair cut and that. It's kind of funny, and I love watching his live videos, they are funny like. It's like that lad from our way, that, that Patrick lad, I mean, he's, he's, not, he's not, not a bad player. Um, oh, but he's rubbish. He's got, <laughs> he's got them queuing up to play him because people... Want to them. People want to beat them, don't they? Yeah, but the problem is he plays for his strengths, which basically isn't any really, but <laughs> he... <laughs> I take you another fan. Ah, nah, I respect obviously what he does. He's off in China at the moment, just ordering a takeaway. Uh, he won that first game, he was all around 7 0 but put it on Twitter all over, and he was all around with that, but it was a walkover. <laughs> How do you do that? Delighted with my first win, 7 0. It was walkover, son. Oh, right. I did you like the ones? Do you don't know that one? No, oh, oh, honestly, I couldn't breathe at it. But then it's all fun and games of pill, and uh, John, oh, yeah, and John's got a nice finish there. Yeah, Liam Clark's playing the game, but Clark he just does everything that he does every time. He just goes for everything. Liam there, uh, Kev. You know, at the end of the day, I think obviously talent-wise, he's certainly a better player than him. But talent doesn't always win. Obviously, if you've got Brett, if, you, when I played, if I you've played got Liam a couple of months, um, was it November, December time, and he's a funny one because I think ability-wise, he's, he's much better than me. Um, during the game, I think it was four or five nil down. He flashed out and, and just potted everything off the rust. And you think, you sh and then he'll do something. He'll make a mistake. He played too something too quick. Yeah. So you knuckle down, you knuckle down. Then you're in the game. It's fours each, and then he'll have a burst again. Um, he's one of those where if he if he learns the timing of when's a big shot and when's big moments in the game. It's a nice break from John. And, and, and when the scrappy frames and when you need to knuckle down, it could be a real, real handful. It's learning. The there, the like there, but but I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not convinced he, he wants to, though. I don't think he does. Uh, obviously, it's about him respecting the game of pool. Obviously, he's come from a snooker background. And obviously, he, he likes the aggressive side of it. And that, you know, respect his, his obviously ability. But you're playing someone against Patrick that can't cue a ball, doesn't want to cue a ball in, and just wants the lads to hang themselves. And he does it very well. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, so Kev, yeah, I, th I think obviously Liam's definitely favourite Kev there on our Facebook chat. Are they playing again, are they? They're playing again. Just, yeah, him and Patrick, I think, playing again for a bit of coinage. Uh, Nigel McDonald, hi Nigel, obviously now YouTube, I think, yeah, is George playing? I think he's playing a, a kid called Joe, some of the snooker player in Ireland tonight, mate. I think it's fair, I'm not sure. They try, obviously, with teenagers running around, I don't know if it's 10 bags each. Uh, but it's in Ireland, I'm not sure what club it is. Uh, yeah, if you just look on Facebook or other things. Uh, good afternoon, Paul Lynch. Join us, the Lynch machine. Obviously enjoying this game at home. Uh, with uh, Mark Lee and John Shepard 6-4. It uh, looks like shepard has got a little bit of a head of steam on there. Yeah. But Mark had another opportunity. Obviously you missed that red in the middle, which was you know, crucial. Obviously normally what he wants to do, Mark, is he likes applying pressure. And uh, Jordan just racks three frames in a crack, you know what I mean? He's quite he, oh, it's uh, beautiful to watch. Oh, he's, he, he just strikes the wall so well. He's a uh, pool brain. Where, where did he struggle in the past is his temperament. We were talking there, like it's game over, he made a few mistakes, but he gets in a little bit of the rhythm. That's mm. forgetting, and he just buzzes around. Yeah, do you forget? Uh, if he can forget it, where, where he has struggled in the past, he, he hasn't, to be fair. But it looks like he's uh, got this uh, black in the next. middle. 6 5, and I think it's Ginger's right next. 
So yeah, we've got to obviously don't forget guys, this is raced eight, it's the last sixteen in the old series. The lads with a big break, it's massive. So let's just see what happens now. We're we're rear um, it's it's great camera work that because you can't actually see his back end when he's when he's setting these up now, which is which is ideal, isn't it? Yeah. It just like cuts him off at the worst, that's ideal. Like. <laughs> he cuts him off. Yeah, Matthew Robinson, yeah, our YouTube chapter, these commentators ever play for money. I just like to talk about other people's <laughs> games. Uh, my bit is no fair. No, they don't, the penalty, but yeah, Matthew never played before in my life, mate. Uh, hopefully enjoying this great game against uh, two top IPA pros, mate. Uh, enjoying the afternoon, sitting sitting obviously home on your couch. They're muppet boys. I like that. Uh, you don't mind them there. Uh, it's YouTube. one of them, isn't it, where yeah. it's like the, the boxing scene where you're like... Nice you can't, break you from can't that. I've got through that really well. You can't Got comment nice on the boxing unless you've, you've been in the ring yourself. Yeah, generally. Yeah, Nigel George Lane, I think that's his name, mate, yeah. Uh, who obviously George is playing tonight. And I think those boys will be watching it and seeing what the situation is. But George is what George does, you know. He, he's solid, I suppose, in ways. Looks good in areas, but for me, he's he's rubbish. Uh, I've tried to get a game on myself for them uh, a couple of times. Who's this? Mr. Teeny Boy. The messages went into that Galloway boy a few times. Uh, but he's playing Stevie Wall, and I think Stevie Wall absolutely butchers him. And it's going to be in, in, in Manchester. Uh, and there'll be a right old crowd here for that. And uh, I think the day before, we've got Carla Donahue playing Fitzsimmons. Have you ever heard of that Matthew Robinson? Is he a bit of a player? Like I don't know. Well, they obviously, on that YouTube, they just use, uh, obviously, aliases, don't they, I think? Oh, right. Uh, you it know, could be like anybody. Could well, be it could be basically. Helmet, yeah. Well, I just think that sometimes, uh, obviously, if you bat for both teams, and that's, this is what happens to you. Like. Is that who makes like, the fruit juice? Yeah, yeah, he's doing something right. Yeah, he's doing something right. Oh, that's another slack shot from Mark. He actually, like, it's, un it's unlike Mark did, and he knuckles well. Obviously, he's always going wide and just drifting in. Big for him. Uh, Jason Ashen, I don't know, uh, Facebook chat, uh, any updates with Gav on Pickworth? Um, I don't think, mate. So, what's, um, I think he's obviously the playing at the moment. These but. boys will get quite a bit of sponsorship, do they? Um, who's who's who sponsors Sheppy? Well, Sheppy's uh, obviously Jason on Q, he's obviously Jason on Top Block, uh, but it's not a better, uh, if not, SQ Manufacturing, uh, obviously UK. Uh, sponsored, I think, Jordan for a good while now. And he uses Jason's Break Q, uh, Mark, sponsored by a few companies, so it's, it's like, we like walking billboards here. Uh, Mark sponsored by Apple Direct, who uh, obviously got one of the best companies in the North East for recovering tables, uh, Hydrant Supremes, our venues, corporate events, and then we've got Washington Fireplaces. I think it's important for players to have uh, obviously the sponsorship with the guys. Uh, Washington Fireplaces, uh, probably the premier uh, fireplace company in the North East of England, and uh, do you love this one, Miller? It's cold up there, so. It's cold, so, so we need them good fire burners there. Uh, and then obviously we've got uh, No More Moy sponsored by... Oh, this might work out bad. Oh, he's just... He's on us. He's on us. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, that's a bit risky. You mean No More Moy? No More Moy. Artificial grass. Oh, oh, uh, right. Yeah. Let's talk about more Slater, are you? No, no, because I appreciate when it, like, obviously, you know, in the old days when you were at high school and that, and, and like... I like them good old days when there was no grass on the pitch, so you know what I mean? Uh -huh. <laughs> and you got your pads out and your cricket ball there's and that. No, there's no more of that, is there? Oh, no, 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 so... Must be a bit of a legend who's who set all that oh, up. It's too hard, he should be on it. It's nice on this. Just got to be careful, though. He's just going to, like, put, leave the white either side cushion. And then a test of black. I think it's too... If he tries to put a test aside, he's going towards the middle pocket, you know, unless he puts a little bit of bottom. Oh, he's hitting nice. He's played that really well. Generous now, you hit the bump. Oh, I'll yeah. the I think Mark's just shaking his head there because he, he realised he hit the bump and he still went in. So obviously Mark doesn't like these big uh, bags and uh, Sheppy. Mark's going to uh, pop to the boys' room. Do I get guys any questions uh, you'd like to ask myself or Mr. Miller? Possibly won't be interested, we'll try to answer it. So obviously we're here for the IPA World Series today and it's qualifying for a fantastic uh, place in November in Gibraltar. Uh, sensational. Uh, sensational. Where is Gibraltar? Gibraltar. Uh, just off there. It's about one hour from Malaga, so. Is it? It's, uh, honestly, I went there last year, and I can honestly say, like, uh, 
uh, Charlie Bear, and people like that. Obviously, the people I met over there, Paul Hurd, who obviously has a Q Sport company over there, it looked after his lovely hotel. The setup was beautiful, uh, and obviously the the, the surroundings and uh, you know the scenic uh, pipe was great. So uh, yeah, but it was a fantastic place. Uh, you couldn't do nothing. Obviously, today was the one I wanted to really no, qualify no, for. Rear's digging in. Oh, he's digging in deep rear. He's just popped to the rear bathroom. Yeah, Craig, come on, John. Well, he was six, I think he was six two behind, wasn't he? He's Still obviously, well. he, he's yeah. Well. Max missed two, two opportunities, that Just red in the middle and the yellow. I think now where it's, when you look back over the games, where it's six each now, where Jordan has made a couple of daft mistakes, he could be off the table now, he could be done. Should be, really. Uh, but, you know, massive, big break. Yeah, and obviously John's the break, and he's got a little monster break. He's, uh, he's uh, using uh, his uh, Jason Owen. He's plumbed it nice white as well. He's going to get kicked, he's going to get kicked. And he's left the yellow right. in the middle as well. Absolutely, to be fair, they're tricky though, aren't they? Mm, he wants Bill and Ted, doesn't uh, he? Mm. Yeah, Donna Evans. Uh, like that oh, scene she's not cry. Is she? Donna's in our chat. Uh, good afternoon, Donna. Hope you're well. Hope uh, you're enjoying uh, the pool here at Manchester. Why are you not over? She's a proper handful of her Oh, mind, Evans she? machine. Uh, obviously, Donna likes that uh, grass on the pitch comment. Uh, uh, hopefully you've been getting your uh, boots filled this weekend, Mr. Evans. This is not over in Manchester. You and Chris should come over. Oh, yeah, around this neck of the woods. Well, right? She's in Stoke, isn't she? So it's not too far away. To be fair, bless her cotton socks. Yeah, so what's what's the crowd like? Is that that pool lad been like pulled well, over this neck of the woods? Well, the lad, the lad's welly deep, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> literally there, right, it's went like an inch up the rail and that piercings went there, I can't believe that's went on that table line. That's it's hideous. It's well, it's one of those John just keeps bashing away and... Uh, Has he got a double on now? Is that the shot? No where the lights go on here. I think that's dead. Double? Yeah, he probably can double it, but then... I think he's digging a wall. But you know, one big crazy finish, he could play the double and go into the lads, but... Great. I don't think he's... I don't think he's got a way out. Does that yellow go past them two reds? Have you not, have you not pressed some buttons I, I, on, I, on I your cameras? Oh yeah, I'll see if I can go to camera one and three. You can't really no. see it on that one. <laughs> I can't really see a shot under, to be honest with you. It's not like he could come off the shell and contain behind the reds, but there's no point. I think he has to play this with it. It's just almost a no up shot, isn't it? Yeah, good. That's a great shot. Honestly, he's opened that up as well. Still a lot of work to do. I think Chips is along the wheel and try and hug the bag at best. Yeah, Jack D. Thompson, good afternoon. Uh, afternoon, Warren. I uh, hope you're keeping well. Looking forward to getting you to Potts. Uh, show me and your best mate Patrick will be there to support. I'm looking forward to Paul, obviously playing Chris Gill. Uh, and I'm sure that, uh, you know, obviously your good friend Chris Patrick, who wanted six head start with me, the can cure ball, uh, will be there. But uh, then they'll see what happens, pal. Yeah. You know. I want six head start, but please don't put anything more on Facebook because uh, my friends on Twitter and all the celebs are following me is getting annoyed that they wonder why I can need six head start. Good afternoon, Jack. Hope we're just having a good start the ball. It's a nice shot from Jim. That's a great shot. You're going to play the, just the bottom one now. It's come out well. He yeah. won't play this now, will he? I don't, I don't think you need to, I th I, you know it's the way the reds are, I think I'm taking the middle red of the three at the top and come around, he's just going to take this one in the no, corner. Punch this in and then, then he'll come down there. Yeah, and, and take the other one in the corner. It's just miserable as it is now. Yeah, it's a nice shot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then obviously the three reds are, 
are lined up. Yeah. Good afternoon, Danny. Matthew, do they uh, still smuggle them Lambert's made I? It's all right, because obviously jibs can be cheap, but you can't get it through the border, pal. Uh, but you just uh, go the other side, the absolutely cheapest chips. I'm not sure what the you stream thing is. Uh, if you just go on to uh, to Sammy Streaming on U YouTube, pal, uh, obviously Wayne's not with us at the moment. So I'm sure if Wayne's listening, uh, he'll put the link up for you. It's a nice shot. Yeah, Mark's obviously it's a nice finish with Mark to break now. Yeah, I love the banter too, buddy. It's only good for a good friendly banter, and that's what it's about, weird. Mark's got the red in the top and the black in the middle to uh, pull it to 7 6 lead. And uh, I think it's Mark to break next, so a big break coming up from him. Yeah, there you guys are obviously requesting there uh, for the YouTube stream. And uh, just search to Sami Streaming on YouTube. I won't be going to Jib, mate. I didn't qualify today, mate. I'm absolutely mortified. I had a great time in Gibraltar last time. Uh, I was hanging over the balcony. It was brilliant. Uh, Marsh was watching us as well. <laughs> it was brilliant that day. Uh, little, poor little Marshy. Yeah, Kev, it's uh, played at the fantastic club JJ's Place in uh, Savannah in Manchester White. I think it's Whitehead. Uh, it's a beautiful venue. Uh, we've obviously played an eight uh, Supremes with the uh, just newly uh, seven ounce cloth that got put on yesterday. Uh, but I think JJ's got something like 20 t pill tables and he's got some maybe eight or nine uh, snooker tables, a couple of nine ball tables. It's a fantastic club as well. Really busy yeah, all I, the time. Um, I spent couple of years ago, I was six, seven months, I was here two or three nights a week and stumbled across this, this club and um, they're all really good, he's, JJ's a good lad, looks yeah, after Yeah, looks after, he's a pill player himself, so obviously, yeah, oh, he's a good player. Mark's came up dry. I think the lads, the lads as well, there's a lot of, lot of good players, it's, it's, it's mad how you just rock into a random club um, and I don't know what that Stevie Wall plays here, I think Dean yeah, Shields. Some, yeah, yeah, there's some great player. players here, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I played just in a, in a random league and didn't know anybody and got took a few bootings off off some of the some of the good lads. But no good good lads, good atmosphere and uh Oh Jordan's missed that red he's mark an opportunity now. Uh, this is where he's gotta take the opportunity reds. If you can just nick through this red I think they're all on to be fair and just a little bit of work, mindful work to do with the two reds near the black. Richard Eve up north, no one down south plays these rules. Jesus uh, to be honest with you mate, I think Across the country, black balls are most popular, you know, to be fair, in the northeast as well. Obviously, we're in the northwest at the moment, but in the northeast, until two years ago, it was all world as well, pal. Uh, but obviously, with the sort of huge uh, development and the players come out of the northeast of England, uh, everyone's changed over to black ball. And for me, it's certainly for the better. I've played world rules all my life for probably about 20 years prior to uh, changing over to black ball. And um, I, just, I just think it's a much better game, it's better to watch. Um, you know, we're each own, but as you so can see... So the game now, you could imagine people watching it on telly. Oh. They're an absolute million to watch World Rules. Oh, it's, nobody it's would have a, well, nobody yeah. would have a clue what was it's going obviously on. trying to develop the game forward, and there's the are trying to get almost in mainstream, whether it's like a DIY even before. Obviously, if the products from the players are there and the professional and the prize money. Um, and, you know, I think the table looks great. I think, obviously, the blue really stands the balls out. I think, obviously, the aggressive nature of black ball. And the players that we've obviously got on the two, and not just the two, around the country, you know. Yeah, um, well, you can't, just simple things, you can't even see the, like, the hand marks, you can't see the chalk marks. No, I honestly, no, it's it, a bit. It does, it does, it does look, I, I'm never convinced that this ball will find itself on the Sky Sports and things, but oh, no. it doesn't necessarily have to. I just think if you get some of the numbers on the streams. On the streams, yeah, but I think, obviously, if you get, you get it in the nature, if you even get it on, you know, at the end of the day, you've got balls, mate, you know what I mean? You've got balls on, like, Dave and things like that. Can't beat a bit of ball and something. Oh, yeah, ball and ball actions. Actions. Ah, them, them, you know, you've got to get your fingers in all the right places. Well, it's, it's always making sure, that obviously, your thumb's in the right place from around the back of the ball, and then you have the two fingers on the top of the ball, and then what you do is you just follow it through, lovely, and then, you obviously, you get a strike, don't you? If you get two strikes, is it a turkey or something? <laughs> I think so, so. <laughs> And a three's just happy to so. Yeah, but to be fair, Blackpool's the way forward uh, for me, certainly. 
That's a great shot from Mark. That's a great shot. Brilliant shot there. I, I, I'm not convinced he's getting these. But to be fair, I think he's got an angle just to nudge into that red. The, obviously, the left of the two reds. And I think he, he might be on the other red in the corner. Oh, he's got the one in the middle. Uh, well, Ooh. Kind of this this changes the uh, dynamic, doesn't it? It's a nice shot from Mark. That's different. If he's on that one in the corner, he, he's a massive... Yeah. He's got to be like that one, hasn't he? I want to play the red at the top. Does the red go at the top now to clear the path? Definitely does. Because that could be a little bit awkward, but again, you've got to really be tight on this. Is that red next oh, to the yellow? Oh, I'll goal. tell you what, my camera, might, loaded, my camera might work here, son. That oh, that's it's that's tight, that son. I don't like that. Ah, but it's, it's close, isn't it? I think he's that close to it. You, get, yeah, you can put it on which side of the back. Carl, I'm sure Drew's, Drew's played. He's hanging about, so... I don't know if you're still on the ton, but if you want to go to qscore.com, mate, uh, it'll be on the Facebook and the IPA, or even just go on Google. Uh, obviously, you put IPA tournament in World Series, and you'll see the updated scores. We don't have it in front of us, unfortunately, at the moment. Uh, it's a nice shot from Mark, that. Beautiful shot, just nudging the black, and he's obviously got the red in the middle. Is, this is the difference between the real top players. The white does very little movement. They can literally put it where they want. Absolutely. And finishes like this become possible. When you go down the ranks, the lads can pot the balls, they can do the shots, but they, they just can't manoeuvre the white like like these top boys can. Just make it nice and simple. So I think, I think the best that is like changes like that, Hibbert, Marsh, they're just, they're just literally yeah. like picking it up. Yeah, Gaz is so strong at that as well, isn't he? Yeah, he's plumbing, you know. Marsh is going to... He's going to come with a bit of right hand side to kick it back on playing the black in the bottom left, so he's just going to play the left hand side to drag it back for the middle length. Yeah, he's checking it, isn't he? Yeah, oh, he's for the bottom right, yeah. It's perfect. So, it's been a great match. Obviously, John did well to come back to he from 6 to uh, call him rain. Rain. Uh, Mark's uh, nailed that black, and uh, thank you very much. And obviously, we get the next game on. Mark Farnsworth advances to the quarter final of the World Series.